We are confident that as we approach God to confess our sins, God is there to greet us with his grace. So let us now come before God to confess our sins before the throne of grace. You have created each one of us in your image and called us to live faithful lives. You show us the way in Jesus, but we have ignored your voice, lost our nerve, and wasted our time and resources. Forgive us, Lord, for being afraid to speak the truth, for wandering aimlessly through life, for not discerning your call, and for not standing up for what is right and good and holy. Hear us as we confess our sin to you. Speak to us once again your word of life and grace, so that we may be made new. May the Holy Spirit awaken in us. Psalm 103 so wonderfully and powerfully depicts the grace of God by saying that God redeems our life from the pit and crowns us with love and compassion. Because the Lord is compassionate and gracious, slow to anger, abounding in love, he is the one who gives us never repay for our sins. For as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is his love for those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far as he removed our sins from us. Know today that you are forgiven in Jesus Christ. Amen. the peace that we have with God through Jesus Christ, we seek to extend that peace to one another. But in this season where flu is so prevalent, let us not maybe shake hands as much as touch elbows today. (laughs) But knowing the peace of Christ, let us extend that to one another. May the peace of Christ be with you and also with you. Peace of Christ. I'm with you.